Bonnie Channel here with your Visual Eye Media video podcast. In each episode, I'll share tips, tricks, and techniques to help you produce better videos for branding, for marketing, and for social media. What I'm going to do this episode is answer a question from one of my Twitter friends and followers, music uh, fan, music fan 214, who asked the question, "What's the best camera to use for a podcast that will be distributed via YouTube and iTunes?" So. To answer that question, there are first a few questions you need to ask yourself. Number one, what kind of budget are you working with? Number two, what kind of equipment uh, will you need? And number three, what kind of time can you commit to producing a video podcast? Because um, some of these can take hours to produce, some can just take minutes. It really depends upon the techniques you use. So as far as budget, you need to determine uh, how much money you're willing to, first of all, either spend on the equipment or on the video production. Uh, if you opt to go uh, the, the equipment route, which we'll assume in this case that you'll be buying your own equipment uh, to use to produce, um, there are a couple of different ways you can go. Um, so the first and most uh, affordable and efficient way to produce any sort of videos uh, for the web is with a flip phone, a flip camera rather. Uh, these flip cameras are pretty affordable. You can purchase them in either high definition or they can shoot in standard definition. If you ask me what, what I prefer, high definition is gonna look a little bit prettier, but uh, there's nothing wrong with standard definition. The video you're watching right now is in standard definition. If you use um, good production techniques, either kind of video will be um, effective in terms of your messaging and your production. Okay, so we're um, assuming that you'll be using either a flip camera, which is very easy to use, or the other kind of camera that I would recommend is a Canon series camera. Uh, the one I use is a ZR900. It's a standard definition camera. What I like about it is it has an input for a microphone, which is something the flip cameras don't have. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of interviews, if you're gonna be capturing sound, um, I would always suggest you use a camera with a microphone input. Um, this uh, microphone that I use is a, see this is a prop actually. Um, this is a, a, a Radio Shack uh, lapel mic. Um, the model number is 333013 uh, cost under 20 bucks so uh, that's a good way to get going and then don't forget about your tripod which will help you shoot still pictures all right so um if you want to go a little more high end uh, you can invest in a yes right there that's a three chip camera it shoots basically broadcast quality i've used all three cameras and types of cameras to produce my podcast uh, the quality on this is going to be a little bit better it's not high definition though um, a camcorder will do the trick as you can see and a flip video camera is the down and dirty way to do it. Um, the last question though pertains to your time, right? So how much time do you have dedicated? Um, so you have to think about this. Um, what's your learning curve? Do you know how to shoot? Do you know how to edit? Um, what's the storyline gonna be in your, in your podcast? What's the theme? So these are also some questions that you need to ask yourself uh, before you just jump in. But hopefully that answered your question, Music Fan 214. If you have any other questions, please send them to at Visualine Media or at Urban Reporter. That's on Twitter, of course. And I'm Amani Channel, and I'll see you next time.